Hey guys, welcome back. Time to go into the med clinic. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! They're thugs, guys. Uh, did, can we even shoot them here? I, I, I don't think I'm shooting him. I won't lie. He just—he's kind of okay with me shooting him in the face. So that's all good. There you go. Holy shit! The sniper rifle. Oh shit, oh shit, uh, the guy with the shotgun. Why am I up this close? Okay, you know what, you know what, you guys go right here. There you go, flank him. Dude, this guy has like sunglasses, what a cool motherfucker. I wanna look at the sunglasses guy though. Well, this is, this is what happens when I command my squaddies. What the fuck? Oh shit. Got him. And why is Garrus just standing there like, like with a thumb up his ass? Alright, I want to see his sunglasses, man. Wait, he's... <laughs> he disappeared! <laughs> oh man. You think it's expensive to live here? Probably. Uh, maybe I should have used Medigel. Oh, what honor or whatever. Alright. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Uh, we don't need him right now, though. We can handle this on our own. Let's go. Alright, let's go bring Garrus and Ashley because Katie annoys the fuck out of me. Ah, oh, thank god. Alright, let's see all the levels we have. Alright, uh, two points for her. Uh, maybe assault adrenaline burst? Maybe, maybe we'll give her that. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. And where's Garrus? Good old Garrus. Uh, we're gonna give him, uh, advanced sabotage. Point in dampening. And I guess, uh, point in assault rifles and tactical armor, maybe? Uh, yeah, you could use the shield boost. Like I said, it's, it's, I'm more after these big ass points, so. So he's gonna get the shield boost and the Turing agent upgrades. That's kind of good for us. 
Means we have nobody that's good at first aid anymore. Oh, good. We get to a view of the nebula and also a scan of the keeper. Alright, nothing over here. Alright, where are we gonna go? Citadel exposed Scaris. Take down Fist. Uh, were we already in Lower Wards? I guess we were kinda there, but whatever. We'll just go back. That's fine with me. I don't see a problem with using these little loading screens. Alright. It's a gentleman's club. And we are a gentleman. So what is, uh, what weapon is he using? Okay, they both got assault rifles. And Asher can use a shotgun. That's a good weapon too. Fist knows we're coming. You know, something just occurred to me. I, um... He could probably get some upgrades for his guns, actually. Uh, like Avenger. That seems pretty good. Aw, oh, shit, the, the gems are starting, guys. Weapons Force, yeah. Garrus also uses sniper, rifle, uh, sniper rifles, but we won't really deal with that. Accuracy and, uh... Whatever, I don't give a fuck. Look out! Look out! Oh no, it's the bartender. <laughs> the fuck? Take cover. This used to be a nice neighborhood. Garrus is shooting me in the back to repay me. Why is she just using her assault rifle, uh, her shotgun? Okay, well, let's try and switch switch her weapons out. Maybe I should get the longer range weapons. Alright, excellent aim, guys. Let's go. Enemy is everywhere! Plus shields! Alright, we're gonna just recharge our shields. Enemy is everywhere. That's one down. <laughs> Why is it just pistol them? I don't see a fucking point. Oh, dude, there's like a ton of blips on my radar, I just realized. Okay, can you guys just move in? I, I, I don't care if you die, it's more useful than what you're doing now. What the fuck is this guy? Is, like, is he wearing glasses? Oh shit, dude. That, that, Alright, the spine is not supposed to curve that way. This thing, he's probably dead. Destroy you. It's an awfully random thing to say. Alright, and we. Oh, that's the, I see. That's why there's no corpse, because we keep disintegrating people. By the way, if we brought Rex along, he'd just pretty much kill uh, Fist right off when he sees him. I mean, that's, that's his job. Alright, I'm sure his ability will wear out at some point. I'm gonna tell him to go attack that guy. Yeah, we got him. Good job, fellas. What do they have? Assault rifle and sniper rifle? Yeah, I, I probably should just give them the long range stuff. Oh, there's another guy here. Why don't you attack that guy? I can punch people, that's right. <laughs> Get fucking trekked. <laughs> that was unnecessarily brutal and violent. I love it. Because they're not going to shoot that guy. We got him though. Go over there. There they go. My boys. Oh, he, I killed him with the shield ability that I have. Oh, there's nothing else here. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. 
<laughs> I would have never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. All right, Ashley's the next to go on this team. Ah, here we go. We got decryption to do. Ah, here we go. We got hammer two. Hammer two. We need a hammer two. Uh, no, we don't actually. Well, actually, it's not that bad. Yep. Please. Upgrade, yeah. Uh, I think I was pressing W slightly, my bad. Definitely want the heatsink and maybe the art. Well, I haven't seen a synthetic in a while, but still. So, any. Uh, oh, there's some, actually some decent weapons here now. Uh, apparently, we already have that one, but Garrus can probably use. Uh, yeah, he can use an upgrade. I guess I'll give him a Reaper sniper rifle because he's sniping right now. He's doing his best, lads. You gotta give him that. Why do I have to do everything myself? The fuck? Uh, Enemy is everywhere! Go, fuck. go, go! Oh, there's a defensive turret here. Garris, I hope you're not planning on dying. We got Medi-Gel for taking that out. Oh good, we can just hold down the button. Apparently the angle in third person allows me to hit it, but everything else doesn't. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here, I don't know where she is, that's the truth. He's lying. Mm. You've got three seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up... It'll be Saren's men waiting for. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. There's no time to waste. Come on. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Like I said, I keep people alive. Ah, here we go. Now we got the baller music. I actually like this music a lot. It's actually pretty good. Oh shit, Quarian lost in a little bit of time. We need to bring our best weapons along. Probably gonna use my healing just for Garrus. Garrus is my bro. So why are the thugs still here? Fuck. I've lost shields. Shit. Oh shit, son. All right, we're fucking out. Get guys, please. Guys. All right, these guys are the worst. All right. We may have had some problems here. I I actually cannot scope in my rifle right now. Incoming. That's actually I can't shoot him. He's behind there. I I mean I wouldn't be able to tell this. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, we're, we're just not allowed to... Okay, here we go. That's interesting, you can't scope in if you do things in a certain way. Shit. Yeah, something just occurred to me, I was... I talked about, like, in the first episode, I had, like, an overheating glitch. Apparently that happens when you get two, two different achievements, uh, which is something that's kind of interesting I don't know about the game. Uh, two achievements related to killing like synthetics and I think organics or something, so you have to like undo the achievements if you actually get them. I don't know what caused that kind of bug, but it was never fixed, apparently. Alright. Are these schmucks gonna get up? 
I guess not. I've lost shields. Lock and load. Lock and load. Are you locked and loaded? I'm on it. That is like the worst fucking cover. The guy. That, it's not even like a real table. Oops, I didn't mean to eat bed of gel again. I just I was looking for a snack, I'm sorry. Alright. Come on, Schmucks. I'm ready. Alright, good. They're they're close, I think. <laughs> I like how we still just do the little sprinting animation. Is it over here? Hopefully it's here. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. The fuck is like the, like shields. little gray men here? Ow. Oh. Uh, my, my weapon's overheated now. He has the same ability, by the way. Bring it on. Oh, we don't have any more mines? Seriously? We're gonna need to get more mine, mine gear. I just get sad now. This is the worst assassin ever. Or the best. Okay, probably the worst. He's as awkward at taking cover as my teammates are. So yeah, basically there's like an infinite overheat bug in the game where like things never become un overheated and you gotta restart the game every time. Fucking awful, man. All right, we got him. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. Not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den, do you know how- Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss- My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. 
Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Uh, okay, we'll bring, uh, we'll bring these two. Fucking all the tech strength. Yeah, we don't need Ashley. Fuck Ashley. Alright, let's see what she's got. Uh, oh, I got two points here. Uh, let's do assassination. Uh, I'm trying to think of what to do next. So, I got one point in assassination, but... What's gonna be the next thing I want? Maybe I want to go into medium armor. Maybe I want to do hacking. One more robot uh, advanced robotic enemies. Maybe I want to do infiltrate. Who knows? Inti sorry, inti intimidate. Well, it, it spoils it for us. New skill ranks will unlock when you become a specter and you earn renegade points. Piece of shit. Fucking spoiling it for us. Alright, uh... I think we get like five points or something. I don't even know how much we get. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that one around. Alright, Garrus. Garrus can fucking... Assault trainer, what does that do? Melee weapon damage. Uh, we don't really need that. Overload. Uh, I think we just want him to just do weapons, actually. What's Tally got? Tally's got some things. So it increases tech resistance, shield capacity. Wow, that's a lot of shield capacity. Basic armor, shield boost. Yeah, we'll do, do that. Let's get her into, I guess, shotguns and stuff. We'll get that one too. Uh, yeah, just put two points in that. Good shit. All right. Ah, uh, that fucking is is the council working for the Reapers? Find out next time on Dragon Ball fucking. Let's just scan fat robots. So where was Rex? I kind of want to get Rex. Uh, shit. Where was he? Where would we find Rex? Because we kind of didn't bring him with us, but. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Of course I can. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I right, find a lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'm concerned with the living, not the dead. I don't have time for this. I understand. You have many important things to do. If you do have time, however, Mr. Boscott is the man in charge of my case. He's in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. 
I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. I mean, you ain't cremator. I mean, I'm pretty sure that already happened on Eden Prime. I mean, shit went shit went down over there. It wasn't good. Uh, is this where the Reapers are? I guess we'll go into the bar. And there's also another another uh, bot to look for. Actually, so we'll get the this guy right here. What you're hearing is an owl or some shit outside. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Batia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Yo, yeah, boy. I may, I may have to go to my window just a second and, like, fucking... yell at an owl or whatever the hell it is. Can you identify the bird <laughs> that is making that noise? Fine. Got your fucking... Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Right, that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you guys next time. We'll probably find Rex somewhere. Bye. Hi, Rez.